Well, I think if you look at it right now, Adam's got this in a four-wheel steer mode. The reason that we can do this is we've got a rigid frame. It's not articulated. It's all-wheel steer. The machine pivots around the center of gravity. So what the benefit is, is that you can lift and carry and turn at the same time, whereas a traditional articulated loader may get a little off the center of gravity and uh, be prone to, to uh, tipping. So this one's real nice and stable for those off-road use. Um, additionally to this, if you want to do something like a pushing application, one flip of the switch, Adam's going to square this thing up and we switch it over to two-wheel steering mode. Again, now the bucket is tracking a little bit better behind those wheels that are drive force forward. Uh, great for those pushing applications. You take a look around, you look at the roots of the company, everything that we have is relatively um, suited for confined areas. Now, if we really want to get confined areas, we're going to take this machine and we're going to flip the switch one more time and show one more steering mode on it, and that is a lateral crab steer. So if we need to get in corners, confined areas of job sites, this machine, it can go just about anywhere you want it to go. Now, lastly on this, I guess what I'd like to say is, look at Adam in the cab. All our wheel loaders have the same functionality with the operator's right hand controlling the joystick. That controls your boom function, your bucket curl, it controls your auxiliary hydraulics, and your directional control. One flip of the thumb switch, forward, reverse, never taking your hand off the controls, never taking your hand off the steering wheel. Again, making for a nice, productive, and safe day.